Mommy, welcome back to my channel. And welcome for me and my rolling rack. I'm still so excited about this freaking rolling rack. Um, and this will give you a hint as to what we're shooting today. But not too much of a hint, okay? I still want to be surprised for two more seconds. Well, knowing my chatty nature, it might be a couple minutes. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Alex Michael May, and we tackle all things like curvy, uh, mid-sized curvy style, self-love, confidence, um, and how that kind of transforms, transforms, transcends. Vocabulary is not my strong suit today. How that kind of leaks into your life, whether that's in your relationships or how you take care of yourself, show up for yourself, friendships, um, beauty, hair, da da da. I don't know, I can't think of anything else, but this is my channel and I should get a better elevator pitch. <laughs> if you guys actually, this is like a, something that would be so helpful for me. If, okay, for my returning BFFs, if you've been watching for a while and you've followed me on multiple channels, how would you describe me to a friend that you were telling my channel? Like, oh, what, you should check this girl out. I watch her because X, Y, Z. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the whole virtual BFF thing and I've been your, your virtual BFF since 2016. And now everybody on the internet is your virtual BFF or bestie or whatever. And it's like a trend now. And back when I did it before, it wasn't as much that way. And so I'm kind of like, I don't really want to have that be my thing as much anymore. So I don't know if you guys are, um, if you follow me over on Instagram, that's still my little tagline. So I'm looking for a new one and I don't know who would be a better person to ask than my actual friends here on the internet. So if you guys have any ideas of like how you would describe me to friends, maybe more of a succinct tagline, I am taking, uh, I'm taking submissions. And if I end up using yours, I'll send you a little prize. Um, because I'm just trying to like, I don't know, think about how to describe myself. It's really hard. Do you ever have that where people are like, what would people say about you? You're like, I don't know. So you should pull your friends. Actually, here's another exercise that would be a beautiful self-love exercise. I don't know why I'm tossing this out right now, but I just am. Uh, ask your like two to three closest people in your life, could be family members, could be friends, people that you feel like are always in your corner and love you, send them a text or call them and say, oh, this is embarrassing or whatever you wanna say. It's not embarrassing by the way. Uh, but just say like, I'm doing this thing where I'm asking people what they think my best qualities are or what they love most about me. And you might be surprised to hear. And if you're having a hard day, you can screenshot those texts and look back at them. So. Uh, that's your homework, okay? That's your self-love homework for this week. I don't know why I'm putting that in a haul, but I just am and I think we should do it and I'm gonna do it too. So anyway, if you're new to my channel, that was probably a lot. Newsflash, spoiler alert, I'm a lot. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, we talk about all this stuff here. So if you decide to stick around, it would mean the world and subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. Um, and if you are new here, I would love to know how you found this video. Comment below and let me know what drew you in. Um, if you end up subscribing, just introduce yourself to the community. And uh, I also uh, love chatting with you guys in the DMs over on my Instagram. I also do more short form fashion content over on TikTok. So today is a very highly requested video. I feel like anytime I put out there like, ask me style questions or whatever, and then even randomly in DMs, I've been getting quite a few lately people being like, wedding guest dress ideas. So um, we're getting into like spring, summer season, uh, and I think a lot of people have a lot of weddings coming up. So I wanted to find options that were a little more size inclusive than a lot of stores. I love Reformation. I love the idea of Reformation. I've never worn them but I'm afraid of their sizing. And so I didn't want it to be like one of those. I will throw out a few brands. Uh, I know that Beholden, Beholden is a great option uh, for a little more inclusive sizing of that stuff. ASOS is a great place where you can find stuff like that. Uh, but today we're gonna cover Abercrombie because Abercrombie has all kinds of beautiful dresses and jumpsuits and two piece sets and all kinds of stuff. So I just kind of went on the site and like took a gander I'm not sure I took a stab at the sizing. Generally, I'm a size large in their stuff, but sometimes I'm an extra large. Um, like I'll be surprised that when I do get extra large and I just don't know. So I ordered a mix of large and extra large in different dresses. And um, yeah, we're gonna see what we've got. So I've got a mix of like daytime casual weddings, more like fancy wedding outfits. Um, obviously you could wear these to cocktail parties, engagement parties, uh, just a night out with the girls, date night, anything you wanted but I kind of went with the idea of like, okay, what would people want to wear to what kind of weddings, specifically in Abercrombie, because I know that they have been uh, curve friendly as of lately, that people are really loving their style. So I thought that I would, since Abercrombie is one of my top requested brands and wedding guest dresses are one of my top requested topics from you guys, I thought we could swirl cone them into one video. Got a lot of cute stuff, we're actually gonna steam 
so give us a second here but i'm going to show you just a quick gander there's some really cute slip dresses there's one that's a little more casual we've got um is this a dress or a jumpsuit i don't even know it looks really cute got a two-piece set um so let's get into it this is this really cute skirt that has a matching top and i thought that i ordered it but i guess that i didn't um and it's like similar to this and that it's like a little puffy sleeved top so you could wear that as a two-piece i know that they have them on the site in the pattern and in solids and you could wear the two-piece set as it would almost read like a dress but then you would get more use out of it than just it being a dress so this has a fun little slit um maybe i'll just throw this on with the bodysuit to show you guys all right, I put this skirt on. Um, it's a little snug, I can't quite tell. Um, it's so funny because I got, I remember I got a skirt set last year from them and I got an extra large in the skirt and it was just shapeless and way too big and I didn't end up even getting to wear it. So maybe I'm just between two sizes, um, but I actually think this, maybe this is just supposed to be more of a snug fit. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It has a matching top online and this would be really, really, really cute. To be like kind of like a little sexy set for something i wanted to try it on with this top just to show you oh, it actually is super sexy i like it i would totally wear it but i just am like conscious that it does kind of do some gathering here it doesn't bother me but i think it's really cute i probably could size up maybe and then it would just like glide over nicely unsure but i just thought that this was a cute little combo Okay, I'm actually gonna take the top off and just show you what the skirt looks like with the bodysuit. Semi-handled. Anyway, so this is what it looks like with just a tank. Again, yeah, you know, I could probably size up one. Um, I just like had experiences in the past where the skirts were way too big and they didn't look good, but I don't know. I honestly, like, I like things snug. I think it looks good. I think it would caught, so yeah, up to you. I think, look at my measurements below, figure out what you wanna order. There's different colors, different sizes. Um, but now we're gonna get into the little bit more, like all the dresses. I'm going to start with the most casual of them all, this little babes. I'm actually going to steam her first so you get a good view of what she looks like. But this would be super cute for like an outdoor, like a more of a casual wedding or a bridal shower or something like that. This is just so cute. This looks like a silhouette of a dress that I had last summer that was one of like my most loved pieces by you guys. So um, that one was polka dot, but oh, I just think this is so cute. I can't wait to see what this looks like on. This is a winner. This is a winner. I need, okay. I'm always asking you guys for help and advice. I've got another one, okay? I got another query for you. What should we call when something gets like the AMM stamp of approval? Like something that I'm like hot take, like you must have this, a run, don't walk situation. Let me know if you guys can think of like anything cute we can call that because this is one of those. This is one of those things I literally just said to Emily. I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna be one of those things that anytime someone comes to me needing something, this is gonna be like a go-to silhouette because it's just so good. So I'm wearing the bra under here. I could probably go without or do a strapless, um, but the bra that I'm wearing is quite a deep V, which I know you guys have all asked me about undergarment videos. I have an entire pile of undergarments on my bed to shoot that video. Emily, is that true? Mm -hmm. We have it all here. I just haven't had like a second to like figure out how to segment it off and do it. Also, I'm highly due for a bikini wax and I just, uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of complications. I also have to figure out how to show without showing too much because social media is really cracking down on like nudity on curvy bodies, especially like I put up a video about a bra on TikTok the other day and I was fully closed, holding up bras, said the word bra, got taken down for suggested sexual content, blah, 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 which is such a bummer. But anyway, it's okay. Uh, this is so cute. Let's talk about how perfect this dress is right now. Eee, oh my God, I like feel so cute in it. I feel like a little like summer maiden. Um, this neckline with like the boobs the ruching the puffy sleeves is just so cutie and flirty and feminine i just think it's absolutely incredible this would be so good this you could totally wear this for a daytime very like a casual daytime wedding but this would be so so cute for a bridal shower or like a casual rehearsal dinner or anything like that it is like a cotton um so it feels a little more casual but once it's on the body i honestly think it looks a little more dressy something about this silhouette here. So I love this. I'm actually wearing this in a size large. It fits absolutely perfectly. It has other colors. I'm so glad I picked this pink. I was gonna do white, but I'm like, this pink just called to me and I'm so glad I picked this color. It's so cute. I absolutely love this one. Uh, we just had something come up. So Emily's helping me steam because I realized everything was wrinkled as I was about to try it on. And she's steaming a red one that looks so pretty, but it, she said that it's a b-i-t-c-h to steam so if you are traveling i just wanted to put a note in there that you'll need to bring a travel steamer 
or something like that. You could get it pressed probably before you go and carry it in the plastic. Something like this is going to be a lot more forgiving. So if one of the, if one of your things is you're traveling to the wedding or you don't have a lot of luggage space or like logistics, I would, you know, I just thought I would note with each dress the difficulty in steaming and wrinkling factor. This one will wrinkle, but you'll be, it's quite easy to steam and it already looks a little wrinkly. So I feel like you get a little bit more leeway with this one. Um, so I will note which one we're talking about just in case that's a factor for you. Okay, this color is gorgeous. I love this so much. One thing I'm finding with the sizing is that it's definitely generous in the chest area. I ordered this as an extra large. I was just so worried that it would be like tight and clingy here. This, uh, the extra large fits effortlessly over the body, but I will say it's almost just a little bit too big here because it's it has like these little silicone grippers, but as you can see, it's really gaping here on me. So what I would probably do is just get this part just taken in a little bit up here so this was a little tighter um, because the rest of it fits absolutely effortlessly beautifully perfectly um i was trying to see if i could even try to i guess if i went even if i went a little tighter here maybe i could tie it up a little tighter so it's got these these and i just crisscrossed it once i'm gonna sneeze please hold <sighs> there's nothing worse than an unrealized sneeze am i right it's like you were just about to get so much relief and then you didn't. So I don't have a bra on with this, Obvi. You could do boob tape. Um, if you ordered, like, probably true to size, like, I really think I probably should have gotten a large in this. But with you saw how that skirt was just a little too snug in the large. So I'm either right between two sizes or this style runs a little bit bigger. It is pretty loose. However, I do think it looks really effortless and looks beautiful. So it might just need a little zhuzhing in this area. Um, you could, I could probably even like, I don't know, safety pin these in or something, but it's still absolutely gorgeous and I love it. And I think it's so pretty. Oh, this is just so good. This makes me feel so beautiful and it's, it's making me be really, really excited for spring, summer. This is such a vibe. All right, I have a feeling that this is going to be a crowd pleaser, a fan favorite for curvy girl wedding season. Am I right? This is just so sexy and so, ah, it's wonderful. This top, I'm not wearing a bra with it, feels so good. It has like a little bit of cleave here, but it's it feels, it somehow doesn't feel, it feels appropriate still for a wedding. And if you weren't wanting to show stomach with all the rest of this, you could easily, so if you wanted to tuck this in, you could like definitely get more of like a one piece dress vibe, but then after you would get a lot more wear out of having a skirt and a top separately. As I constantly say, sets are my favorite thing because they have so much impact when you wear them together, but then you can easily style the pieces separately. I just, I'm very happy. I'm so happy with this. So I got this skirt in an extra large. It's a very similar style to the pink that was just a little too snug. This is quite loose in the waist, but it's awesome because it allows me to pull it up or down and adjust the midriff kind of coverage that I want. It looks so sexy here. If it was a little too sexy for you, you could wear it like a little bit lower and probably safety pin here or even get that stitched. Not here, not now. I want to show my leg. I want to, I want that slit, all right? Um, this looks so hot. So I'm wearing an extra large on the bottom and a large on the top. Um, I probably could have done an extra large on the top, but then it might have been too loose, like, because this is really giving me quite a bit of lift and coverage, so I don't have to worry about a bra. This is so comfortable if you were willing to, like, dance the night away. Yeah, this is hot. Love. Highly recommend. I'm pretty sure this comes in other colors. I can't remember which ones, but I will link this. And again, extra large bottom, large top. Travel dress wise, this is a super duper winner. Um, this is very travel friendly because it's not gonna wrinkle, if you can tell. It's like a stretchy material, but it's like kind of thick and it feels like more of a formal material type but it's not gonna wrinkle, and if it does, it'd be very minimal and you'd barely be able to tell. This one would be really great to roll up and put in your suitcase, not worry about wrinkles, be ready to go. It'll also roll up really compact, and if you're traveling, just have a weekend away, and you wanna do like cocktails, you could wear this with jeans, you could wear this with something else. Like you could even mix and match this for different occasions that weekend. Just something to think about. This is another capsule wardrobe must have because it serves as a dress and these two pieces and would be so versatile in so many different ways. Okay, so Emily and I both agree that we think we'd like this one a little bit better in black, but I wanted to show you guys a variety of colors, and since I already got the two-piece in black, I wanted to showcase lots of different colors and not be too repetitive. This does come in black, and I think that it would be just a little bit more chic in black. Um, I'm kind of like on the fence. Part of me, like now that I'm looking at it in here, I'm like, 
kind of looks hot. But when I first put it on, I was unsure. So I don't have a bra on with it. I think you could do probably, yeah, a strapless or boob tape if you wanted, but it definitely accentuates the booty. If you're looking for something more formal and full length, this is a great, a great vibe for you because it's quite long. It feels very formal. I like the slit. It definitely has like a fun, modern, asymmetrical neckline, which I like, but I don't know. I think I don't love it quite as much as the others, but again, this would be sleek and black, but if you were wanting to wear red, I mean, if you did like a side part and a red lip, this could look really fire. I almost wonder it could be belted too. I also wonder if I'd like it better if I had my strapless bra on. So many questions, so little time. Anyway. Side. Oh, I got this one in an extra large. Again, I'm finding that they run a little bit generously around the neckline, but that also could be that I'm smaller on top than I am on the bottom. Could be any number of factors. I do think it's really pretty. What do you guys think? It's probably like if I had to choose favorites, it wouldn't be my number one, but I do think it looks good and I think it's a great option. Oh my gosh. I'm just so excited how many winners we have this. I'm just Abercrombie has my heart right now and it's just serious, okay? This looks so good. This would be perfect for a vacay, but it also would be beautiful for, honestly, even a bridesmaid dress. Um, if you're looking for stuff to accommodate uh, different body types, that's gonna look amazing. I got this in an extra large. Again, definitely kind of wish I would have sized large just because if you can see, there's quite a bit of like gapping here and the, it's just, it is a little bit loose here, but better, better loose than too tight. Like you can always go in a little bit. Also, I'm kind of like loving it because it's so comfortable. Like I don't have have to like super suck in or like worry about anything because it just feels easy and breezy and I almost think that it just looks more elegant not being super tight so maybe this is the way to go uh you guys can feel free to give your opinion below I could obviously just get this part taken in a little but what I love about it is that I don't have to wear a bra with it and I'm oh actually you know what please hold I want to try something since I can't seem to get my like full styling videos off the ground I want to try to like just infuse little bits of styling stuff into these videos just because as I think of it it's helpful but so this distress would be so great as a spring transition piece like honestly you could probably wear it with a blazer over it or something depending on your workplace whatever situation it would obviously be amazing for a wedding guest bridesmaid dress etc and if you want it to be a little more casual on vacay i just had this belt that i thought would be so good with it and look it is this looks like cult gaia this really looks so expensive and elevated so i just really wanted to see what it would look like and i think it's such a win uh, again extra large show you all the angles of this one. Oh, look <laughs> this this kind of takes away from the vibe sorry and unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna end on a note of confusion. I am unsure about how this dress is supposed to fit. Emily tied the back for me. I actually think, there we go. I think the back's super pretty. I just don't quite understand, like, I don't know what, what's going on in the front. So obviously, like, all the others were in a non boob like you didn't have to wear a bra situation this it's either just because the extra large is just so too big here or i don't know i'm missing something i wonder if i need to look at the website like i feel like maybe i'm just missing something like maybe the string was supposed to like come through here and do something else i'm unsure um i would need to do like boob tape or something probably for this guy um or i also have like a strapless bra that has a very low plunge um that would be an option but that might be prohibitive in the back so yeah this would be a boob taper huh this is a conundrum friends it's like i really want to like it because the color is absolutely beautiful it guides beautifully over the body it's just i'm not sure what to make of up here hmm well i don't know you guys can let me know what you think i think the color is so beautiful i think i should just look online and see what's going on i'm gonna do some research i'll be back in a second Okay, so I think what's going on is that I'm actually just wearing too big of a size because I found it on the model on Abercrombie and she looks incredible. She's 5'9", I'm 5'10". We have, looks like we have similar body types as far as like curves and stuff. She's curvy. She's wearing a size large. She has like, you know, similar, like a little bit of a tummy. Um, so I'm thinking, and then this is the back. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. That's the back. So it looks like, and that's what the front looks like on her. So I think that it's just a little bit, I think it's just too big. It's just way too big. That's what happened. That's okay. Um, this is still a beautiful dress. Uh, I would definitely get it in a smaller size. I'm really tempted to get a smaller size because I really do like it. Yeah, it's just that this, the sides are just way, way, way too loose. Like I don't even think I'd be able to salvage it by like 
tying it tighter or anything like that. I could probably, I do like the way the body fits. Like I like this like effortless kind of flowy. So I, what I could probably do is honestly just get these seams taking in a little bit at a tailor and then that would fix that for me with boob tape. So anyway, uh, this is still a beautiful option and I absolutely love it. I just ordered a size too big. So uh, this dress I think runs extra large because of the, the way that it's tied and stuff. There isn't a lot of structure here so you can get away with different sizing. And so I would definitely err on the side of sizing down up here if that's the case. So like I said, like I think a large would probably fit me more like this. And I think that that would yeah, that's like how it fits the model and it looks a little better. So anyway, here's the back. It's still beautiful. I love it on like my skin tone. I think it looks great. It looks beautiful on the model skin tone. So uh, yeah, it's just it's a beautiful dress. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for being here and sticking through the highs and lows and the freaking roller coaster that is. A, my life, and B, my YouTube channel. Um, I love having you guys. I love making these videos for you guys. Also, the way my dress is popping against the wall, like I think that's one of the best things I ever did was that decision. I need to get some art or something here. I think that's what we're missing. Um, anyway, see, I'm just like here and there and everywhere. But I just wanted to thank you guys for taking the time to spend with me. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, this would also be probably a bit of a, of a bummer to travel with if you were worried about wrinkles. But again, uh, rolling is gonna be your best friend. Travel steamers, best friend. Um, and I hope this was helpful and informative. Please comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know what other questions you have. If you're new here and you liked this video, please let me know how you found me. Hit that bell so you never miss a video. And subscribe and stick around, be a part of the community. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys want more wedding guest dress hauls, let me know what other brands you want me to try. Um, again, I'll be styling this stuff over on my Instagram, my TikTok, and uh, hope to see you guys over there. Slide in the DMs, say hi, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.